what is going on you guys i am back with another video but most importantly welcome back to episode three of my podcast so let's get started Welcome back, you guys. In today's episode, we are going to be talking about beginner DJ equipment. Um, but before we start, uh, tell me what you guys think of the new audio. I got this uh, this little portable microphone here from uh, Amazon. I'll link it down below. It's a Samsung. I decided to get it because... In the last two videos, I don't know if you guys noticed, but the audio wasn't all that great. So I was looking around and everything that I saw said that, you know, if you wanted something cheap but portable, Samson was the way to go. So I checked it out and I, I got this mic for about, I want to say 25 bucks on Amazon. Uh, like I said, I'll link it down below so you guys can go check it out. All right, let's get back on task. Beginner DJ equipment. Now, that is a very wide range subject to talk about. Why? Because there's many different types of DJ equipment that you can choose from for beginners when it comes to speakers, when it comes to... You know, if you're a controller person, you know, there's different controllers. If you're a vinyl person, you know, there's different types of cheap vinyl turntables. I personally wanted to start doing vinyl, but I don't know. Everything that I looked at was pretty fucking expensive. So I decided to go controller. But, you know, like I said, there's controller, there's, you know, turntable analog, but... Let's talk a bit about, you know, what what that is, you know, and a lot of people have heard this term also mixers. What is a mixer? A mixer is pretty much the, the crossfader. What what you see, you know, in the middle of you, that's basically all it is. And then, you know, you got, you know, your volumes, your levels, everything. That's basically all it is. It's just to control you know, music transitioning and sound. Now, controllers are mainly used to go digital. Like me, I am a digital DJ, you know, uh, my controller, you know, needs to use a laptop in order to function. You can also do turntables, but if you're gonna use a computer, then, you know, might as well go digital. DJ software. There's all kinds of DJ software out there. You have um, Tractor, you have Virtual DJ, you have Serato, and you have Rekordbox. Now, the main one that a lot of professional DJs or transitioning uh, DJs into professional, they all use Serato. Now, I've only used Serato once, and I, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. It's too, it's too complex for me. It's too, I don't know. It feels too complicated. I, on, on the other hand, use virtual DJ. Now I know everyone says that virtual DJ is not professional. But, I mean, the professional is you. Not, you know, your you equipment. Know, and it, it doesn't matter if you have professional equipment or beginner equipment. The professional is you. And like I said, I... I think I've said this in a previous video before. I started off with a tractor. I had I had the controller that I have now, but I also used it in conjunction with this little controller called the uh, Tractor X1. And that one was basically what my controller already had. 
you know, it was just to control level. Oh. So it was pretty much useless. But when I transitioned over to virtual DJ, things became a lot easier for me. And I had a wide variety of things to play with because I had effects. But the main, main thing that really caught my eye was the recording. You can actually record your mixes. And this is on a beginner uh, setup, you know, because I, you guys have seen my controller. I have the Numark Mixtrack Pro 1. <laughs> and then I also work off of Virtual DJ. And, you know, you guys give me your opinion. You know, would you guys have noticed the difference in, you know, my creativity if I was using professional equipment? Because like I said, you know, it's not your equipment. It's the person that has put in the work, that has practiced. And I have many, well, I'm not, I'm not going to say many years, but I have a few years of experience in doing what I do. And I'm self-taught. No one's taught me. Only people, only people that I can, only thing that I could really say that has taught me was uh, the internet, YouTube videos, uh, things that I've read. Now, when it comes to beginner DJ controllers, DJ turntables, mixers, everything, the best ones that I've seen are Gemini, Numark, and Hercules. Now, I've only used Hercules maybe one time. I didn't like it. I I don't know. Just maybe it was a maybe it was a controller. Maybe it was the layout of of the controller. I don't know, but there was just something that I did not like, and. Since I had already used Numark before, I figured, why not? You know, so I went, I returned that controller, and I got myself the Numark Mixtrack Pro. And that is the controller that I've used since day one. And I love it. Completely love it. I would not trade that brand for the world i will continue to get new mark products um, i i guess even through my my professional years when i become professional when i become who i've set myself up to be now don't just think that new mark is a beginner brand no don't don't be fooled I have come across the Numark NS6 II. And that one, what it essentially is, is a four channel controller. Four channels. Now, a lot of club DJs, a lot of DJs at festivals use four channels. I mean, they use CDJs. And most of the time, they have four decks in front of them. And they can do four different things. So Numark does have a professional controller. Just to, I mean, I haven't seen any turntables, but I have seen controllers that are Numark of four channels. So if you're, if you're a Numark user, then, you know, don't be discouraged. And again, for softwares, who really, who, who really cares because it's not you know your equipment it's your style your creativity and what you know now we're gonna start to talk about speakers again there are the creme de la creme of speakers you have your JBL and then you also have your PV now those speakers JBL are the most popular 
DJ speakers out there for professionals. Now, when you look at PV, that's also a professional speaker, but, you know, if you have a little bit of, you know, mula, you can also get, you know, PVs and, you know, be a beginner like me. I have P I have the PV 515s and wow I didn't I didn't even think a a speaker that great existed because all I had was Pile and Pile it was good but uh it didn't it has nothing against Oh sorry I have an itchy nose <laughs> Pile and PV They have no competition against each other because Pile, let me tell you, Pile sucks. And I had Pile when I started off only because, I mean, I didn't have that much cash. So, you know, I started off with what I could afford. But then when I got a little bit more money, like, I think it was like last year, two years ago, was when I got my, my PV speakers. And those things, bang. So, if you're a beginner DJ and you have a little bit of extra cash, then I suggest that you go look at PV because, like I said, PV is great. All right, next topic, headphones. I, I would think that would be the last, last, last piece of the puzzle. Headphones. It doesn't really matter, again, what kind of headphones you use. But I would suggest that you get uh, headphones with no bass in them. So that way you can listen to your music clearly. Now I think there's a couple of Sony. I think Sony makes good uh, headphones that have no bass. But personally, I don't like that. I like to hear the f everything in my ear. So that's why... I have Beats. I have the Beats uh, Mixer Edition. You know, the the little ones. And those, they were great. But a lot of other people prefer different types of, of headphones. I've even seen people use the, the in-ear monitors. Like for, you know, the ones that artists use. I've even seen them use that. Why do they use them? Uh, beats me. But yeah, a lot of people prefer to use that too. And that's cool too. That's cool. I've never done it. I, I would like to try it out. But I've never done it. I like to stick with what's... Not, what, not with what's popular. But with what works. Now eventually, I'll move on to the professional stuff like getting into you know pioneer and you know that that new mark controller that i was telling you about but i mean for now I, I could stick with with what i have you know i'm happy with what i have you know what i have works but you know in the you know in the end i would like to you know branch out into something more professional and test my skills a little better because, you know, to tell you the truth, that probably would make me a better DJ. Not that I'm saying that I'm not a good DJ already. But if if I move on to something more professional, maybe, I don't know, maybe I could pick up something new. Because like, like I've said before, DJing is, is a learning experience that will never end. Now, with that being said, make sure to go like comment something on this video, share, and as always, subscribe and make sure to turn on those post notifications so that way you guys will not miss the next episode. I will see you guys later. Peace. I'm
my soul. I 